Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you 23 October. It's a travel day for Privateer in Switzerland. We're hopping a plane to New York in about 90 minutes. So um, I'll quickly go over this and try and make sense of the clusterfuck Brexit bullshit uh, that happened last night. Obviously, uh, Boris's plans have been foiled for now, and it looks like we're headed towards an election. So Brexit is being delayed. Uh, the DUP, this little cluster of selfish Northern Irish politicians, sort of screwed the pooch last night, and here we are. Um, Cable's down at 128.58, which is really no big deal. Uh, we're just avoiding cable, especially because we're on a travel day today. Just want to look at this euro real quick because we're still on board with this big turn um, theory. And we like to pick up some euros here. We talked about yesterday between figure and 15. The low has been 16. We do not have any bids in there today, especially because we're traveling. Um, but somewhere between 110.80 and 111.15, we'd like to buy some euros heading into ECB tomorrow. Um, this will be a natural little pullback. This is a little bump in the road on this Brexit uh, bullshit. So we don't think this is going to thwart um, this general mood change in the dollar. Uh, and so picking up euros on the cheap side seems the correct strategy for now. Dorian down, I guess, on this sort of increased impeachment chatter. Uh, diplomats from the Ukraine are squawking in front of Congress. Things don't look great for Trump right now. Uh, in the court of public opinion, the pendulum also looks to be swinging. Uh, if he gets impeached, whether you like him or not, it's bad for the dollar and it's bad for stocks. So uh, this is going to take a long time. This isn't going to happen anytime soon. There will be months of push and pull. But right now the pendulum towards impeachment is swinging towards, yes, he is not going to make it. This, of course took dollar yen down to 108.24 we still think there's one more move higher in risk uh, before it turns lower for a big turn lower but we got to be ready to pull the trigger right so i mean we have this we have this bearish sentiment but we're wearing this bullish cap over the next day or so or over the next sort of week or so. So it's quite tricky, right? Um, this is where uh, momentum trading is helpful. So you don't get stuck. Um, and you're always ready to reload on this. So, I mean, for us, below 108 becomes important in dollar-yen. Above 109 becomes important. Anything in between, we're just going to leave it alone. So we start to look at getting short. If we see prices below 108, we will get long uh, if we see prices above 109. Let's look at gold. We talked about this yesterday. We're waiting for this pennant to break. Yesterday we thought downside was going to break. Um, we had our entries at 84.40. 87.10 was the low. So... Your entries now can move up to 86.30. We're waiting for this trend line to break. And to be fair, if it breaks to the top side, we have to be ready to jump on that. So the top side looks like it's going to be around 15.05. You do nothing at 92.40. You don't want to guess the political winds. There's a lot of ridiculous uh, news flow pushing both sides of this. So just respect the technicals. Whether you like technical analysis or not, it's a time to respect the technicals just because it helps to manage risk. Um, so 86.30 is the downside trend line. I would say 
the top side is around 0660 today. What else is there? Dollar CAD, not much to say. We had some news from retail sales were a little bit weaker. Canadian financial forecasts were a bit neutral. Um, if there's risk off, this will float higher. Uh, we like to sell this certainly between 130, 150, and 80. Uh, we're sellers of Dollar CAD. Let's look at ES. Uh, traded up to 15 yesterday. We talked about yesterday that we thought we were going to make new highs. Uh, we looked on track to do that, and then Brexit, the Brexit stuff sort of derailed this, and then the impeachment stuff sort of pushed this to the left-hand side. It's very much like dollar-yen here. We're just patiently waiting. You really want this thing below 60 before you can get really bearish. Uh, if you can get moderately bearish or you can put on some sort of short-term deal below 76. Right now it's just frustratingly waiting, right? Even though we're bearish, the story is bearish, we still feel like there's one last push to the top side, one last squeeze that's going to happen. So we can't really commit full bore to the downside. We're letting price dictate our position. So right now we're square uh, and we're waiting. We're watching a news flow and we are waiting. So it's a, a very similar tale today, watching news flow and waiting. Boons could not make a new low. Now we have sort of a triple bottom down there at 170.78. We like selling this, uh, selling high ones on this so between 172.30 and 173.30, we are sellers of boons. That's really all I got for you. We got really very no new. We got very little news today uh, on the sort of global macro. No real releases. We got some oil releases a bit later, but um, our heads are literally in the clouds. We're about to jump on this flight, so I will leave you. With this, uh, I don't think I'm going to get around to a video while I'm in the New York office. It's always a bit hectic seeing people and, and um, some social stuff to do and some trading stuff to do. So the next time you'll hear from me will be Monday. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. You deserve it. Talk to you next week. Ciao.